Hey guys, Penobi here, bringing you another narrative Wi-Fi battle. This one's going to be with Jake the Raichu. It's an NU battle. Uh, Jake's a good buddy of mine, known him from T-Flare for quite a while. So, um, and he does good uh, quality videos and all that. Might want to check him out. So he's going to lead with his um, Babero. I'm going to lead with my Puffing Tom. Go ahead and set up the spikes while he sets up the stealth rocks. So we're just kind of exchanging entry hazards here. I want to see what he's going to do. Just going to go ahead and set up my second lair. Um, I do have a focus sash, so I wasn't concerned on that front, and plus Barrel doesn't have the most impressive attack off the bat anyway, and seeing him use a setup move, I'm not thinking he's anything like mine, or, you know, the uh, sweeping sets. So he's going to go for that, you know, second super fang and unfortunately poison himself, so now I'm predicting him to go for whatever move he was intending to use to finish me off, um, which he does go for, and I did predict it to be a water move since, you know, um, I don't know. It just seemed like the obvious move. I mean, return, I guess, could have um, been an option as well. Even the likes of quick attack. But I'm just going to, you know, go to my roundabout version 2. Which, now that I've actually, you know, played with my other Meganium, Land Before Time, I would actually prefer to use Land Before Time in the future. Because, yeah, I, um, I went for the first Leech Seed, and I went for the second Leech Seed, um... It's not that I was necessarily predicting the switch, it's that if he wanted to save his Barrel, he had to switch that turn, and I knew that. So, I'm confident he can't really do anything to me, so it's best to just go for the safe play of Leech Seed then, and then go for the Synthesis now, knowing he can't really do anything to me, and I'll be at pretty much full health either way. And that's the kind of play a lot of people um, would kind of look over, but um, I don't know, I think it was a good play on my part. So he's going to go ahead and send in his Exploud. Um, I'm a max special wall, and I know that a lot of Explouds are special. So I'm just going to go ahead and stay in, scout his move. Turns out he has Overheat. Um, I think I made a bad play here. Yeah, going for a Leech Seed again. I should have probably gone for Synthesis, but um, I don't know. I guess that was just a poor play on my part. I really didn't expect an unstab move to do that much. Um, I'm kind of thinking he is actually Specs, because that did so much damage to a max special wall Meganium. So I'm going to switch out, because I don't want my Meganium to die, and I'm thinking another Overheat would kill, even with the minus two. So I go to Banana Fang. Turns out he's going to switch out too to his Vespa Queen. So I'm just going to go straight away for the Stab Super Effective move, because that's always a good idea. Well, it's usually a good idea. And he's just going to Toxic me, which makes me think he hasn't particularly seen my videos utilizing this team, especially this poke because it's a rest talker, so not going to do too much. He's going to make a pretty good play and go for the roost, because it would take away his flying type, therefore the super effectiveness. And I'm going to blow him away into his 115 equals NU. And 115 is, you know, his attack stat, so I'm thinking he's physical, although that would be a, you know, easy mind game name. Like, people name their stuff, like, you know, Choice Scarf, Choice Specs. And you never know whether it is or not. Usually assume it's not. And yeah. I go to my fucking bananas because I want to get my stealth rocks up, especially after seeing that Vespa Queen. And I can already tell he's banded. I can tell you that right now for a fact. Because my fucking bananas does not take that much damage from like almost anything. So I'm just going to switch into the Nard Dog, knowing that he's going to have to switch. So he is going to switch, which I know. And I'm going to go ahead and go for the Roar, predicting said switch. And it's really great that he went into Vespa Queen, because now that Vespa Queen is pretty much dead. So that little exchange was really nice for me. Unfortunately, my fucking banana is, is crippled at this point, but I, I know if I get him in on, on a free switch, um, and since he's still pretty fast, I could probably roost up and be okay. I make a really bad play here that um, really cost my team a bit. I switch out into Banana Fang. What I should have done is switched out into my Meganium, which is already crippled. Let that be Death Fodder to bring in Banana Fang, and I would have been fine. So, that was a poor play on my part. I also could have brought in Meganium and let it Death Fodder out into Rocket Man. That's also an option. I think the reason I didn't want to do that is because I don't like sacking my Cleric, but... It was still a bad play. 
So I'm just going to go for the Aqua Jet here, not really expecting it to kill, but expecting to be able to revenge with um, my Quillfish. But I get a crit, which we actually did the, well, I actually did the calc. Normally I don't do calcs, but um, yeah, it would have done about 50%, like 51%, I think. So yeah, that crit definitely mattered. And I'm able to do a lot of really nice sweeping here because the entry hazards are crippling his team. So I'm able to just kind of aqua jet things to death. Unfortunately, he brings in an Espeon, which of course will be faster, so I have to go for the Aqua Jet, knowing it probably won't kill, but why not? I know Espeon's stats, um, defensive stat, well, regular defense stat, is pretty poor. Pretty poor. Um, so I'm just going to revenge kill Puffing Tom, because I also carry Aqua Jet, which is really awesome, and yeah, he's going to have to bring in Vespa Queen, which is game. So good game, see you guys later, and peace out.